It's Thursday. Another day. Some more news. Let's talk about all of the Adventure Quest Worlds news for this week. We've got a lot of cool stuff to talk about. Let's get right into it. Alright, first up, first up. I set the display contest. Now, it's pretty low effort, so the reward is, as you would expect, pretty low. You get 500 uh, Artix points, which is 400 ACs. Don't know how 500 Artix points converts into 400 ACs, but it does. So... Yeah, if you think that's worth your time to take a screenshot of your Adventure Quest Worlds character page or a screenshot of your, uh, I think any AE game, uh, AQ3D, Dragon, Fable, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this Twitter right here, AE Contest, you guys submit it on this Twitter. I'll leave this link in the description, of course, if I remember. If I don't remember, tell me to put it in the description, in the comments. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's a contest. If you have a cool spring-themed set, you can enter. Moving on. Uh, also, I don't know if that's a new hairstyle. I haven't really seen that before. Uh, if it is old, it might be old, but it might also be new. So that could be a thing. Also, this hairstyle might be new also. I'm not too sure uh, if I'm being honest. So you may be able to correct me in the comments. And if you know where to get those, please tell me also. I'd like to know. So uh, the golden ticket for March should be in your inventories. The names of the winners are right there. Uh, that is, of course, for the item of ultimate item of donated awesomeness. So... You won that if your name's on the screen right now. Moving on to the next thing. Exeros with a brand new set. Pretty pretty thick. Um, I don't really know. This looks like it could be a enemy uh, for a new quest line. Although I'm just guessing, of course. Uh, pretty cool looking, though. I don't know where when we'll see it. this person. It looks like Elf Ears. So could be a new faction, maybe. Uh, we'll have to find out, I guess. Kremong, also with some new gear, some really cool looking stuff. Got some Modern Warfare 2 vibes from the head uh, helmet there. Really cool. And uh, hopefully this comes in the game soon. Nothing official yet. Uh, looks nice. Go leave a like on it if you want to. I'll leave it in the description, of course. Like every a little everything I show here will be linked down below. So tomorrow we are getting a <laughs> revitalization update again. So, hmm. Mm. I, I guess they use that to procrastinate and uh, not have to do a lot that week so they can focus on probably next week's update, which uh, after this week, next Friday, will be Friday the 13th, of course. And that comes with a quest line based around the normal Friday the 13th stuff. Uh, we've seen models of this character on J6's Twitter, and he looks pretty large. Uh, big hands, really big feet. The weapon's tiny. That weapon's probably normal uh, size. Compared to his, yeah, so it looks like a boss character that we will probably be fighting for the quest line. So you can look forward to that coming out next week. There'll probably be some cool items and stuff, hopefully themed around our guy, Voltaire. So, we'll, th that'll be soon. Now, A-Ranks has a new set. Now, normally, when A-Ranks has a new set, that's for the monthly package. This, he confirmed, was not. This is not an upgrade package, so it's right there. So... He finally got to make a set that isn't for the upgrade package. Actually, he made one for uh, St. Patrick's Day, but another one that isn't for the package. So that's cool. He's working on more art for the game, and you probably see this within the next month, I would guess. Now, I talked about this before, but we have some in-game screenshots from Alina of the color customness of this armor. So it looks like the pink changes color there. So you can see it's like kind of red up here. Uh, the red on the armor, of course, changes black up there. Um... The horns definitely change color too, so and so does every part of it. So it's fully color custom, and it doesn't look like it has any weird shaders on it. So that is really cool. Uh, here's another image of it for the male version. You can see it's all <laughs> all blue, basically. Even the weapon looks like it's color custom, although I'm not 100% on that, but it does look like it's color custom, so that's cool. That'll probably be the 12K, 12-month 12 uh, package for uh, April. So that should be coming out tomorrow. All right, so they fixed the bug with overstacking bug feature. It was kind of a feature. A lot of people use it to farm more efficiently. Uh, a lot of people upset that it was removed. But if you did have an overstacked items that were deleted, they have been returned to your inventories. So you can look for that in your inventory if you haven't seen this tweet from Captain Rhubarb. During the spring break, some of the Adventure Quest Worlds and AQ3D servers were temporarily down. This was a result of a DDoS attack or attacks, multiple DDoS attacks. Uh, directed or distributed denial of service intended to interrupt the service and interfere with their gameplay. So the servers got DDoSed. Uh, they are looking to uh, the second. We really hope 
we have your support is to take legal action on the individuals responsible for these attacks. So, and yeah, if you have any info on anyone that was DDoSing the servers, hit them up at DMCA at battleline.com. So, they're looking into that. And if you're wondering why the Arctic server, I think Arctic server might still be gone right now. Uh, it went off. Oh no, it's back. So, Arctic server was offline for a little bit because they had. I guess the IP address for the server and they were DDoSing it. And they're also DDoSing uh, AQ3D. In case you're also curious, they did not have permission to use Nicolas Cage. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, if it is a legal issue or if it's fair use, it, I would say it's probably fair use. Although, yeah, it, there probably wouldn't be any legal issue with it at all. Uh, yeah, so just the Linux confirming that there in case you're curious. I know I was. Exeros tweeted out a video only 300 people have seen so you guys will probably see it for the first time if you're watching this most of you I don't know what that means. Okay, I'm gonna meet the music. I'm not sure what that means But uh, yeah, that looks like it could be that could be a pet or a monster or something for Friday the 13th So yeah, looks pretty cool. I like the animation on it. it looks really actually looks like a cool pet to have or something like that and last but not least, LAE with a brand new set, work in progress, of course, meaning it's not finished. So there it is. Very thick. Very, very thick. You know, LA I like LAE's style. He, he knows he knows how to make a good Adventure Quest looking character. A good looking Adventure Quest character. So that's the last one right there. You can follow him on Twitter if you're not already. Uh, if you have a Twitter. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you're following me on Twitter. I also have a Facebook page if you're not on that and a Twitch which I've been streaming on more often recently a uh, few days a week now. Uh, used to be like one day a week but now we're streaming on Twitch more. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not ready for more news videos like this. Hit the bell so you get the notifications when I upload a video and uh, yeah leave a like if you like the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. We will be live here tomorrow with the new content that's coming out. I'm not actually sure what the content is. Uh, it's it was a they're adding back a war. That's what I know, and they're also revitalizing an area, an old area. I really don't know, but we will see what content is in there. I'm not sure what items are coming out. They usually release if they're revitalizing an area. They usually release a full set with that, like a brand new uh, item set. So hopefully we'll see a brand new item set tomorrow. Uh, on Friday, and I'll be streaming that on this channel, so make sure you subscribe for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.